Hey grammar students, Chelsea here with Let's Talk. Today let's break down a new form of the future symbol, will. Alright, we can use will to talk about the future in a few different ways. We can make a promise with the word will. Um, I haven't come to your games, I never come to your games, I'm sorry. Now, I will come to your game on Friday. I promise I will come. We can use will to offer help. Um, oh no, you're hurt. I will drive you to the hospital. I will drive you to the hospital. Let me help you. I'll drive you to the hospital. Uh, we can use will when we make a decision at the moment that we're talking. So, you're talking to your friend and your friend says, um, a band is doing a concert next summer. And you say, oh! A concert in July? Yeah! I'll buy tickets. I will buy tickets. You didn't already know about it, you just heard about it. So right now you decided, okay, I will buy tickets. We can also use will to make a prediction, what we think will happen in the future. Uh, I think the painter will be done by tomorrow. That's what I think is going to happen. That's my prediction. All right, so four kind of different uses for will for future symbol. Um, so let's talk about the form of will sentence structure. Will is another modal verb. So again, that means a few things. No S conjugation followed by the base form of the main verb. Uh, so let's say, um, uh, if we go with this sentence again, uh, buy is the base form of the verb. I will buy, not I will to buy, not I will buying, not I will buy. Uh, and every subject, is going to be the same. She will buy tickets. No S endings on any of our will. Um, it also means to make a negative form, we don't need do or does. Instead, we're going to add not between our auxiliary verb will and our main verb I will not buy tickets she will not buy tickets we can contract our subject and our auxiliary verb I will is contracted down to I'll 
she will she'll you'll he'll we can even say it'll sounds strange but it'll we'll and they'll or we can contract our auxiliary verb will with that negative form not now the contraction here you guys is weird it doesn't make any sense so our normal contractions is like does not becomes doesn't and we just take out the O the apostrophe goes where the missing letter is for this one it's totally different okay will not somehow becomes won't I guess willn't sounded strange, so won't is the contracted form. I won't, you won't, he won't, she won't, it won't, we won't, they won't. All right, um, we can make questions with will. Uh, same word order, we don't need to add an auxiliary verb because we already have an auxiliary verb. Um, will, the carpenter comes tomorrow we've got auxiliary verb subject main verb and object or other we can add a question word on the beginning When will the carpenter come tomorrow? All right. Uh, short answer, uh, long answer, will the carpenter come tomorrow? Yes, the carpenter will come tomorrow. Short answer, yes, he will. No, he won't. Subject, auxiliary verb. Okay, now I want to talk about the difference between will and be going to. Be going to is our other form of future symbol. We've learned about it before. Um, and mostly they can be used the same way. Um, but there are two situations where we would probably use one or the other. So we can use will and be going to um, when we are making plans. But there's a slight difference between the two. We use will, like I said a minute ago, when we make the decision as we're talking. Right now, we just made that decision. We'll use be going to when we already had a plan. That plan already existed, and now I'm talking about that plan I already made. Uh, so, I gave you that example of, oh, there's a concert next weekend, uh, next summer, great. I will buy tickets. I just decided right now I will buy tickets. Uh, but we can also use be going to and say I am going to buy tickets. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I heard about the concert. last week uh, and I need to save up some money. So I already knew about the concert. I already had a plan to buy tickets. Uh, just need to wait a minute till I have some money. So with Will we decide right now with be going to, we already had that plan at the time we talk about it. Okay, and the last difference, the other difference, we can use uh, will and be going to to make predictions. But when we use will to make a prediction, it's more like it's based on our opinion or experience. When we use be going to, we're making that prediction based on some kind of evidence now. I have some evidence now and I'll use be going to. Uh, so let's say I usually get sick when the weather is cold. Every time the weather is cold I get sick. So next weekend Uh, the temperature will be 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, it's very cold. So, based on my experience, I will get a cold. I just know it. I will get a cold. Um, or if you're watching a, a game of some kind and I say, ah, I think that athlete is really talented. She will win. I'm using my opinion about this athlete to make this prediction. She will win, because I think she's pretty good. So on the other hand, be going to based on some kind of evidence. Uh, you could say, oh, my stomach hurts. I'm... I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick based on this evidence right now that my stomach hurts. Uh, or the musician is supposed to start in five minutes, but the musician is not here. He is going to be late. Using this evidence, the musician isn't here, the musician should start in five minutes, using that evidence say he's going to be late. All right, so these aren't huge differences. If you use the wrong one, everyone will understand you. Uh, so don't worry about it too much, uh, but there are these slight little differences between will and be going to. All right, in the comments, let me know what you will do to help your friends. This is Chelsea reminding you, it's not nerdy being wordy. Let's talk again soon.